just for no reason. I just noticed we still have a wreath up on the wall there. Um, just for no reason at all. Just want a little break for making boards. Been working like a madman, trying to fill up the shelf. Um, we are going on a little road trip. It smells good in here. It smells good in here. Yeah. Off to No Jack. Off to No Jack. So, yeah, road trip with Clint to one of his client jobs. Uh, again, just because I want to take a break from making boards. Yeah. And that's their house. Yeah. So they're planning on building double the size of that house to that other side at some point in the shop. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, they're still working on that? Yeah. Yeah, he's doing a bunch of stuff he wants to do on that at some point. Nice. Okay. Oh, look at the dog. The dog. So they're planning on doing a, like, a meeting area gym for the kids, basically, from here out. And then it'll go that way, and then that'll be garage sunken. Okay. And then that's the courtyard that is going to be something okay. at some point. But you'll see the. Oh, they're it's ICF. Yeah. Okay. So they're it's probably like super efficient, hey? Eh? I would guess so. It's a pretty. Nice that's what I used to make at uh, the job that I absolutely hated. I used to make ICF forms, yeah, oh, really? and a bunch of other things. The job that made me decide that I will never work at a job that makes me miserable. Hey, pup. <laughs> Dude, he's so nice. Does your dog not play like that? Oh, he does. Oh, this guy's super friendly. Oh, I don't want to throw it off the... <laughs> all right guys the reason why this makes sense is because do you remember those doors that clint was making that's them dang they look fantastic i don't remember exactly when i shared about these but it was just a teaser anyway uh you could have seen them on clint's instagram what's up pal what's up pal <sighs> Anyway, I would have directed you towards uh, Clint's Instagram, so you would have seen them if you follow him. If you don't follow him, uh, his information is in the description. <laughs> this dog is so chill. Well, chill in the way that he's not, he's not mean. He's chill in the fact that he's very friendly. He's not so chill uh, in the way of uh, wanting to play, but I don't mind. Um, anyway... Clint needed to come back here uh, because he's actually going to do some more work on this house. He's done a few things already, including obviously the doors, but I believe he's also going to be doing some railings. I'm not sure if it's here or some railings on the inside, but uh, he's got to... Uh, he's got to uh, come up with some designs and stuff. Uh, the house is obviously in a Spanish style, so uh, I guess they'll talk about that and kind of figure out uh, where he wants to go in terms of railings and all that stuff for the, the house. How do you even get up there? We don't, we can't get. Can't oh, I'm can't like looking for stairs and I'm like, to figure something <laughs> some kind of ladder stair something. thing? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense then. Yeah, that's been one of the things that wasn't priority. Mm. So it's been sitting there. Well, your house is very nice. As it is so far, it's going to be excellent when it's done. Yeah, it's been a process. Uh, process. Like it's been just the sitting area here. Yeah, we've been no, trying, finding out where. Find we, we got the chandeliers for the roof. Do we put it in? We can put it there or here. Do we want to try to decide where, where is the dining going to be? Is it going to oh, be if it's going, going to be here. Right. We have the table over here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we tried both, and then we switched it around, and so I think it's going to be over. 
That's an awesome table. That's freaking huge. huge yeah. <laughs> That's huge, yeah. Is this floor heated? Yeah. Feels so nice. Yeah, that's, that's the only heat that's in here. Oh yeah? Yeah, we only use the floor heat. That, that's don't a... have any sense of nothing. No, it's just the uh, just fresh air HVAC system and then floor heat. Mm. Okay. And then I saw that your like you got ICF foundation and stuff. Is your walls ICF as well? No, it no? is uh, two by eight studs. Okay. And I sprayed six inches of foam in. Oh, so it's like a passive. Yeah, yeah okay. So you notice with the highway, like how quiet it is in here, right? Oh, yeah, because the highway's right there. It's right there, but it's super quiet in here. It is. I didn't eat, yeah. This is a fantastic house. I love it. Let's see how this would all kind of blend with something here. Because you don't want to do something that looks modern, like the idea of just a being with like floating stairs is a bit too modern looking, maybe? maybe? Something somehow to. Kind of, yeah, make this and all of it kind of blend all time, yeah. all time high end. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it would be cool if you did like a scrolly ladder. Well, it's, uh, I think it's a bit less than four feet. Yeah. We'll see how that would go, but. Yeah, I don't know. Just kind of thinking, mimicking something like this, maybe. I don't know if that's too ornate for what you guys are thinking. No, uh, Eva just said she didn't want it too busy. She doesn't want it too yeah, busy. Not too okay. busy, but still have some, like, have some. It is really boring. <coughs> yeah. That uh, was just similar to this. We wanted something that was fairly simple, but not of oak. Here's the door upstairs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember when you made those. So I had even thought, you know, a concept of not not quite as uh, detailed as your doors, but an idea like like your doors. Kind of, yeah, and maybe if they would kind of look like panels. Yeah. Um, kind of so these are probably smaller panels than you would want, maybe. That's a, a concept. Yeah. yeah, something in a panel, like a panel style like that. that would what about big panels like that? Like Ernie's? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And there is that kind of basically just wainscotted so that it has, you know. Yeah, you break it, broke it up. That would look, up a bit. That would look yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. And it would match your bookshelves. Totally, yeah. If yeah. we did it yeah. in the in the same. Same wood, same, same color. Same Maybe. color. And, yeah, and yeah, I guess this portion here, this little piece could be a bit of a railing again. Right. And then, yeah, because it wouldn't be a lot that overlaps quite a bit. Just have a little bit on the top something and then just bring yeah. it up every so often and have a little bit on the top. Yeah. Yeah, that would be so cool. Just have some design on it. So then all I would do is I would start, I would build it like out of like a, maybe a, a two by three or two by four wall. And then I would just basically put plywood both sides of, of the oak and then just trim it out. So we can kind of almost decide that as we're going. Yeah. Same trim coming down the side around. Yeah, and then your ladder yeah. could fit in there if you do if you do the ladder. I'm on team scrolly ladder. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could be kind of cool. We have been There's a cool back and forth on that if we wanted to do that. I guess if you can get those ones that where the the thing is bent where it comes like this and then it mm -hmm. can burn. Right, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We just looked at it to get up and down. If we do that, there's nowhere to hold on once you get Well, on that's what I was saying. When you said the railing, yeah. then you could hold the railing or the on that on that side yeah, there. Something to do with the railing there to kind of tie it in with the railing. Because we kind of need a little mini railing here too. Yeah. Right? Yes. It would be a little piece right there too. So, so you could hold it and then you could use the ladder normally here because you don't need a railing to reach a book or whatever. Would... Uh, would you do railing here or would yes, it continue? Yeah, yeah that's what he was saying. The yeah. paneling just ends, yeah, just, just this ends portion here. and then yeah, that would somehow with the whatever the steps. So basically I'm going to need uh, one half post, one, two, three, three full posts and one, two, three half posts, four half posts. He asked us to stay for coffee. Great client you got here. 
All my comments are always awesome. Obviously, I know that this is tea, but they're having coffee. Oh, check out that bowl. Uh, uh, South American kind of dug out style, right? It is South American style. I don't know what kind of wood it is, but I want to make a bowl like that now. Uh, West Edmonton Mall, if you go down the, where the, the European, all these old European, it looks like a European street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Houses, yeah. There's a store right there. Okay. Right maybe I'll check it out. And maybe they'll be able to turn yeah, it even yeah. got the axe marks and stuff on yeah, it. Yeah, like, okay. uh, yeah. Cool. yeah. Axe marks. Probably an ads well, marks. An ad smart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I still want to make one of those. An ad? Yeah. Well, remember I was going to do that one job that was... Um, I think it actually may have even been for here at one point, but we shifted gears how we were going to do it. But uh, I wanted to do like a beam and and then use the ads on Oh, yeah, 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 out, yeah. Right? I remember, yeah. I mean, it's just a cool tool. It'd be a fun project for us to make one and just have it... Uh, it would be cool. Have it just to use for some projects and stuff like that, right? It would be cool. Uh, it would be labor intensive. I'm going to use electric tools, and then maybe I'll finish it with an ad that you make. I just think it'd be cool to have because it's just a boot. Yeah. Another tool you've made. Yeah. Just say you just say you did it. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll head out and let you do your thing. Thank you for coffee. Yes, you're welcome. Yes, thank you for the tea. Have a good night, or evening, afternoon, afternoon whatever it is. Have a good every time of the day. Okay, we'll talk to you after. Thanks again for coming. So, are you excited about the new contract here? Yeah, lots of good fun jobs. This is a really cool house, and uh, I'm not going to be working on it or anything. I just felt like taking a break from uh, from what we're doing. But yeah, These uh, guys are always super nice to work for, and they always have pretty fun projects to do so I've built a we're kind of slowly picking away at the doors inside the house I'm replacing a number of the doors anyways uh, with solid oak kind of made one where I've made them look kind of old world sort of uh, right Tuscan or Spanish looking whatever right mm -hmm. so that's kind of the theme we're trying to keep through the house with all the projects I'm doing yeah it seems like they're uh, I don't know if it's exactly how I I'm doing my house. They clearly have way more money than I do, but <laughs> it seems like they're like, they're not rushing into how they want to finish it. They're like, hmm, I like this idea. Let's try this. And Yeah, stuff. for the most part. And the, the nice part for me is when I come out is uh, they're just open to suggestions. So right. a lot of the other stuff I've done, they hadn't even necessarily thought of in the past, but I said, well, you know, here's the style of your house. Here's what I think you guys should go down this road and bring more of this old world kind of uh, Spanish, you know, Hacienda kind of style, Tuscan right. style into the house. And uh, they love that idea. So I did the first couple projects. And so that's kind of set the stage for what we're, what we're doing on all the projects now, right? It's almost a good idea that he didn't finish the house like all at once because then some of these ideas would have been yeah it wouldn't a, have even known it's it's a, it's, a, it's a better end product it's a very blank canvas that that house it's the style of the house has set what it should be but uh mm -hmm. but it left it uh open for whoever's interpretation of what they wanted the inside to look like right right so i don't, I don't build a lot of modern kind of stuff no I yeah more yeah build a lot of rustic old world kind of stuff i've just kind of got my own lane i'm in and this works well with it, this place all right so if you guys want to check out clint's stuff like i already said earlier link in the description to his youtube channel as well as his instagram and all that and you can kind of see how these projects come together uh, mostly on the instagram yeah i don't do a ton of youtube i've been trying to convince him <laughs> to do youtube but it's a lot of work it is it is well, anyway, thanks for letting me come along. No, it's great that you came out. It's a long drive out here. Yeah, like over an hour. Over an hour, yeah. <laughs> Ashley texted me and was like, hey, uh, let out the dogs. And I was like, I'm with Clint. So, so for those of you that maybe drive cars and you're living other places in the world, me and Josh's big 
gas sucking hog trucks. It cost me like $80 a day just to drive out here and back. So I have to make it worth my while when I come out here and work. It should be worth it though. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Couple hours of driving. <laughs> And I think now I can let the dogs out. They're barking. They must they must not recognize me. Come on out. Okay, you guys are probably super stoked to be outside, huh? How's your leg? How's your leg? Something's wrong with her, her leg. She's got a vet appointment. Got to figure it out. She uh, is favoring it and we're not sure why. Taking a leak while playing ball. That's the one bummer about having so many dogs is uh, lots of yellow snow. And uh, Contrary to what uh, you might think, it is not lemon flavor. <laughs> no, I've never tasted it. Um, okay, so now that we're home. That's funny when people say something tastes like crap. Have you tasted that before? Yeah, how do you know it tastes like crap? Um, now that we're back. Back in the shop, I want to get some stuff done. I'm feeling a little, a little inspired. So, uh, let's see here. I know I got some wood that I need to use for this. Ah, this right here. Your life is your life. Don't let it be clubbed into dank submission. He can't beat death, but he can beat death in life. And the more often you learn to do it, the more light there will be. There are ways out. There is a light somewhere. It is cool that we can see things like that sometimes. Somewhere you go, you're like, yeah, I'm going to go make one of those. Yeah. If you're going to try, go all the way. Yeah. Otherwise, don't even start. If you are going to try, go all the way. This could mean losing girlfriends, wives, relatives, jobs, and maybe your mind. Go all the way. It could mean not eating for three or four days. It could mean freezing on a park bench. It could mean jail. It could mean derision, mockery, isolation. Isolation is the gift. All the others are a test of your endurance, of how much you really want to do it. And you'll do it, despite rejection and the worst odds. And it will be better than anything else you can imagine. If you're going to try, go all the way. There is no other feeling like that. You will be alone with the gods, and the nights will flame with fire. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. All the way. All the way. You will ride life straight to perfect laughter. It's the only good fight. There is. Your life is your life. Don't let it be clubbed into dank submission. Be on the watch. There are ways out. There is a light somewhere. It may not be much light, but it beats the darkness. Be on the watch. The gods will offer you chances. Know them. Take them. He can't beat death, but he can beat death in life, sometimes. And the more often you learn to do it, 
no more lights. There will be. Your life is your life. Know it while you have it. You are marvelous. The gods wait to delight in you. If you're going to try, go all the way. Otherwise, don't even start. If you're going to try, go all the way. This could mean losing girlfriends, wives, relatives, jobs, and maybe your mind. Go all the way. It could mean not eating for three or four days. It could mean freezing on a park bench. It could mean jail. It could mean derision, mockery, isolation. Isolation is the gift. All the others are a test of your endurance, of how much you really want to do it. And you'll do it, despite rejection and the worst odds. And it will be better than anything else you can imagine. If you're going to try, go all the way. There is no other feeling like that. You will be alone with the gods. And the nights will flame with fire. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. All the way. All the way. You will ride my straight to perfect laughter. It's the only. happy accident <laughs> the the bowl is on fire uh, because I'm impatient I was just putting on the last coat of poly here and uh, since I have nothing else to do until it dries because I don't want you know sawdust from say processing uh, the banana bread boards and all that stuff I was like okay torch it and uh, it has such a cool effect I am really digging this actually. Once I blow out the flames, uh, obviously it'll, it'll stop burning, but I'll be able to clean up uh, all the drippage and stuff with some sandpaper. And I think leaving the char will be pretty cool. Look, this one kind of dripped down a little bit. Now when we were comparing it to uh, like a Polynesian dugout, I think they used to burn them out like that, didn't they? Yeah, like a slow burn or something, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know, but... I think, from what I've researched before on that. So. Yeah, it looks cool, though. Super cool. I mean, this was not the plan, but... Uh, it just took it to another level. Yeah, maybe I'll uh, employ this method in the future. I mean, I like... Uh, we were also talking about Shosugiban, or however you say it, the Japanese cedar burn treatment that they, they do. Uh, Which is cool on any kind of wood, pretty much. Right? It is. I, I mean, I don't know how long to let this stay burning for because I don't, I don't want it to be like, oh, well, now it's useless. I mean... I think just the edges like that are cool. Yeah? Because then you can still put, you know, fruit or whatever. Like, look at that. Yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, so once that cool. cools and stuff, I, I'll, I'll re-poly it. Yeah, look at that. You want a picture of that? Let me get out of the way for you. Oh, 
that is that is a cool mistake if that was a mistake well i don't know if it was a mistake i mean i meant to torch it but i didn't know that it would how many hours did it take burn you to the... carve that out actually you know what i didn't pay attention to how many hours it took to to do it it may be maybe two hours or so with the uh i used the electric grasp i totally see people flying those. that is freaking awesome That's, well that was a cool hole. i think i'm going to make more yes because uh i dig Super them cool. yeah so just before today i i mean all my clothes are work clothes but usually <laughs> <laughs> but usually when I'm uh, like I had physio, so I, I put on clean clothes at least. And uh, I don't know how obvious it is. Uh, I mean, they did get a, get a little dusty in here. Point being, uh, today I had physio and stuff. I don't know if you can tell, but I got some IMS in my cheeks. Does it look like I've been punched? Some IMS. IMS, intermuscular stimulation. That's the needles. Okay. Yeah. It's not to be mistaken with ILS, imaginary lat syndrome. What is that like the people yeah, who walk around? Bucket Packer guys, they have ILS. Yeah, it's imaginary lat syndrome. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, this is different than that. Um, oh, there's a little. I bled a little bit. Anyway, my jaw feels a little. It feels like I got punched. And uh, he said I might bruise. Anyways, that's besides the point. On the way home from uh, uh, physio, I stopped at uh, 3B's flower shop because I'm gonna be sending out so many banana bread boards and cutting boards here right away and I get a lot of uh, recycled packing material from her. But um, regardless of why I went there, the reason why I bring her up is because what are the chances that she would have these at a time like this and ask me to do something with them? This is something that I made, but uh, all these uh, that she wants me to uh, to clear. I'm not going to torch hers, but uh, I'm going to get those sealed up for her so that she can use those for her uh, arrangements, whatever whatever you call them. Uh, but anyway, kind of a cool coincidence that these uh, primitive vessels, if you will, showed up in time for this video because of the one from yesterday at Nojack which inspired the one that I hope to finish up today. It's kind of uh, serendipitous. Is that how you use that? Uh, I wouldn't normally show a small project like this where I, all I'm doing is just clear coding it. Maybe I would share it on my Instagram or maybe in a montage in a vlog, I guess, maybe. But uh, since it kind of goes with what we're already doing in this video, here they are. Plus, it gives me an excuse to uh, shout out my friend's business again. Check out 3B's Flowers. Crazy Glue, yes. You have to tighten it first. Oh yeah. And then all the way. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And then, and then undo. A nice mallet. You, you need like something to push it. You're gonna glue your finger. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's okay. Sweet. I like it. That's a keeper. You're keeping that one? I think so. What if someone wants it? You know, $500 for the right price, everything's for sale. Okay. Not everything, but you know. Many things. Many things. Many things. Um, Ashley is liking this uh, bowl. So I, she hasn't seen it burned yet, so she might change her mind. So I'm actually going to keep this. Um, I'll probably make more if, if anyone's interested. I'll add that to the unfinished kitchen uh, catalog. Would a lighter or your torch? take all these little fuzzies off or would it just light the whole thing up on fire <laughs> uh i don't know i think i'm gonna wax them down too but i don't know Let's give, give it yeah give it a shot i mean it's worth a, a try and experimentation oh yeah that's that, that actually worked pretty good 
today. It's all about fire in the wood workshop. Yeah, you should uh, you should see uh, if your if your <laughs> if your clients. So, guys, uh, yesterday uh, when we were at uh, Nojack, no Jack, uh, obviously they were talking about figuring out a railing system around that upper tier part, and uh, this is a sample that he's put together for them. Posts. He loves making jigs. I love jigs. Love jigs. Gives me a better visual on what I'm doing. So this actually has to go up a little higher. Uh, Josh went in and measured his railing and we realized it should be a little bit taller. So I'm gonna add it on the bottom since I have a skirt that's going around this anyways. Right. On this particular one, but yeah, it should be pretty cool. That's why you make samples and prototypes. And, and jigs. And jigs. <laughs> jigs are good. Yeah, but you guys can kind of see what the profile is going to look like. Again, you got to follow him to, to see the, the end result. Um, but anyway, what if you burned that up? Do you think he would? I don't think he'd be into it. No. I think it'd be a super cool idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just joking. I don't think he'd be into it. I, but, I, I uh, wanted to make it all rough looking like I've done the other old work, but he didn't want me to do that on the radio for some reason. So. Oh. Too bad. I would have really liked to have done that. Yeah. Oh well. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh yeah. Give it a little paste wax. Will that help keep it together? I don't know. That's my idea. Guys, he also, remember a long time ago when he still had uh, the Quonset shop that eventually had burned down? Um, well, he gave me a mallet and he recently redid it. This used to be green and... Uh... So a little tradition that I've started in the last couple of years when I have other artists and craftsmen come into my shop is give it a little gift from my shop to your shop. Oh, really? Yeah. So okay. It's kind of fun. So... Uh, I have some little mallets that I made that we showed earlier, so it's, it's nothing fancy, but it's something that uh, from my shop to your shop. Really? I have a mallet, and yeah, awesome. so, it's, so it's cool. It's just something I've kind of started doing, and uh, now it's he's refaced it or sided it or whatever. Anyways, it's Paduke and oak and uh, this looks like a different hammer now and walnut. Yeah, it looks completely different. But anyway, thank you for. For doing that. Yeah, it kind of keeps the fuzzies down a little bit. Well, that actually feels nice too. Yeah. Doesn't feel so rough. Right. I feel like we need a, I've wanted to make one for a while, a uh, Viking shield. Oh yeah. We just kind of need one for the shop maybe. Yeah, why not? <laughs> you never know when you need a Viking shield. <laughs> As you can tell, we're just kind of messing around with the later afternoon here. We've been talking about that, how you just got to mess around and experiment sometimes and just right. not always be so serious on everything all the time because gotta often keep, keep it fun. really cool things come out of that mess around time. Right. This is probably cooled down now. So now I'll have to do some work in, in, in getting rid of where it's all bubbled up. I'll probably scrape it away gently. I might actually even be able to do it with my fingers, like picking gum off the bottom of a public bench. <laughs> Is that a thing you've done that? Uh, I did that when I was a child. Probably every kid has. Yeah, I'm just like, oh. Yeah, it's disgusting, right? It's like, mmm, I found some gum. It's just like, you weren't chewing gum. <laughs> earlier I didn't give you gum where'd you get that oh from under the bench <laughs> there's lots for free <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's so gross yeah that's coming off actually quite easily with just a little elbow grease get rid of those bubbles Like that. I don't want to get any of the char to smear. I don't know if it's going to be super possible though. 
There we go. That's pretty good. There we go, something like that. Now, when this dries, I'm going to have to uh, lightly sand it uh, and then reapply, probably mm, maybe four times. And I'm hoping when I lightly sand it, I don't ruin the aesthetic of the char. I, I'm really, really liking it. Uh, what do you guys think? Was it better before the char or is the char like the, the French kiss? Inside joke there. Um, I I like it. I'll probably do some with and some without. I, I actually like the process. It's 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 a primitive style, but done with electric tools rather than with hand tools. But speaking uh, yesterday with Clint uh, about having in in ads. Well, as you can see, I got a little bit of soot there. As you can see, I went for that look uh, here as is pretty obvious with the highlights created by the the stain but you can see it's kind of got the gouge effect everywhere that an ads would give uh, I just happened to do it with power tools I think what I should probably do is make an ads or have someone make an ads or buy an ads or whatever and do it again and see what the difference is uh, regarding you know time rendered making it uh, aesthetic outcome things like that I think that'd be interesting to compare. What do you think of that, Clint? Doing a uh, comparison, making one of these with an ad and one of them with the electric rack and comparing them for like, in terms of like how long it takes and what like the aesthetic turns out to be? Yeah, I think it'd be cool. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that for a while though, guys, because I said in the last vlog that I wasn't gonna do any personal projects. Uh, until we were done all of uh, the cutting boards for this batch. And, uh, well, I accidentally got inspired to make this. I guess these are called uh, dough bowls or something like that. Someone said that on my Instagram. Dough bowls. Yeah. Which, uh, you learn something new every day. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I'm not going to make another one until after. Unless I make it for the Unfinished Kitchen. We, we should probably get back to work. Although... We got Mitch here today helping out. So, uh, I mean, we're not not making progress, but man. Progressing on other things. Yeah, progress is progress. It's just not on what you plan. Right. I'm on my last coat of poly here. Did a few last night, did a couple today. And we still got a couple, couple boards made. I have more important Sir? things to do than to put a saw in the bench, in the bench but it had to happen. It had to happen. Clint's putting the radial arm saw, integrating it into the the miter bench or whatever you want to call it. We've been talking about doing that for only like what a year or so. Not yeah. not not long. So with most of the stuff I do, because I do a lot of cabinetry and you know milk kind of stuff, um, a lot of re repetitive cuts. Yeah, it makes a big difference for things to be square. Exactly. And square. Josh's chop saw, we've not been able to figure out how to adjust it, but it does not cut square, and it's very frustrating. Yeah, Ken compared it to a Ryobi. He's like, what is this, a Ryobi? <laughs> but, like, it's just Ryobi. not set properly. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I can't it's figure it out. It's a Bosch, so it's good. <laughs> it's a super nice saw. But what do you mean? Just does not cut <laughs> straight, so... Oh, well, no, it's, but it's, like, it's just not set properly. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I can't figure it out. It's yeah. a Bosch, so it's good. It's a super nice saw, but it just does not cut straight. So I need something that will cut straight from here. And so we got this old, old trusty radial arm saw. There, I think I'm just about done this. Light sand and she'll be done. Yeah. Ashley? Don't look. I'm just gonna try to stage this on the table. Okay. Don't look. What are you staging? Okay, you said that you liked the bowl that I was making? Yeah. Well, I, I, I may have altered it slightly and I'm hoping that you'll still like it, but if you don't, well, I guess we'll see. Okay, come here. It looks cool. 
Do you like the burn? The burnness? That was an accident. I was trying to. I was trying to flash dry oh, no. the poly, and then it just set on fire. Oh no. And, and and then, but I like it. I think it looks cool. <laughs> it does look pretty cool. And Clint really liked it too. So. See, I envision like our big long table. Right. With like the bowls. I don't know what we would put in it. Oranges. Yeah, I don't know either. But it uh, looks cool. Someone in Instagram said it's a, it's a dough bowl. What does that mean? I guess you mix your dough in it. I don't know. It's probably old world. Mix your dough in it. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. Let us know in the comments, guys. <laughs> What's a dough bowl? Or maybe bowl? You, it's like where you put your dough and then cover it with a tea towel. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. But you like it still? Yeah, I love it. I love the it's contrast cool. it gives. With the color, it looks so sharp. Do you know where that was from? Uh, it's just a piece of fur that I picked up somewhere. I don't know where, but it's just uh, uh, sold as green lumber, but I've had it for years. You bought it? Uh, no, no. I, I, it was just an off cut that I got somewhere and I've had it for a while now. I can't remember where I got it. Probably just someone's backyard or something, but, uh, yeah. It's cool. It's perfect as this. I like it. I like the, like, rusticness. Do you think I should make more for the, uh, unfinished kitchen? Yeah. I think so. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. She likes it, so we're keeping it. I was talking to Clint earlier about sometimes we just make things and we end up keeping yeah. some things. They're like some things are keepers. And mm -hmm. since you said you like this, I was hoping that I didn't ruin it to your taste because you already said that you wanted to keep it. And anyway, I'm glad that you still like it. I, yeah, I, I, I think it adds, I think it adds to it. I, I just, ah, French kiss. Just missed playing uh, some uh, mini golf down there. Um, <laughs> so uh, when we were at No Jack, I really liked that bowl, and uh, the guy was like, "Oh, we got it from that European-looking street in West Hampton Mall." So I was like, "Oh, cool! I'll come check it out." And uh, <laughs> So it's a, uh, I don't know, maybe a, let's see if she gets that in. Yeah, she got it in. It's a uh, 35, 40 minute drive from my house to the, to the mall here, which is not that big a deal, uh, especially if I can get some, you know, video content out of it. But uh, I drive all the way here ready to get inspired, walk all the way across the mall, <laughs> and they're no longer in business here. This was a store called Whimsical, and this is where that uh, dough bowl, or whatever it's called, was purchased. But uh, no longer. So I made my way over here for no reason. I'm literally here only to check out that store, and <laughs> it no longer it no longer exists and I'm not sure if it's anywhere else oh well thanks for watching